Hello, hello everyone, it's the world's greatest assassin again. I'm bringing you another deck tech and kind of an update video, right? So we are running the same equipment as we did, right? We got the black tech, tunic, mask, uh, nerve scalpel spiders bite are main boarded because I mean, majority of matchups you're gonna be running those. Uh, and then I got the van brace of determination main boarded because of the older matchup. It gets cards out of your hand. It's an iron rot. I mean, the the flick knives, when it was when you could flick a knife, uh, flick a nerve scalpel in response to their defense reaction and have it go off and have their like fate foreseen come in for, for you know three after they play it, that's excellent. If you can't do that, you know, flick knives is an iron rot gauntlet with upside. You know, we're running Hurl, so we, we get the Flick Knives activation anyways. We just got to wait for it. Van Brace, we're really tight on our list, so we need to have, uh, you know, multi-use arms, right? So this hits Oldham. It hits other people, too, every now and again, whoever plays, you know, Oasis Respite. But, you know, and then it blocks for one. Um, we have our contract cards all the same. You know, we're running Annihilate the Armed. Leave no witnesses, plunder the poor, sack, and slay the scholars. No change there. Still running command and conquerors. The one of cut to the chase is absolutely phenomenal. You're going to lull them into a false sense of security. Get them. Um, fighting spirits, amazing. You need them for the draw my matchup, and then in most other matchups, if you can come in, do an E strike for seven basically, and gain a life. Absolutely phenomenal. Only upside. Hurl. I was sleeping on this card. I we don't sleep on Hurl anymore. This is this is what changes you from a fatigue deck to a you know like a lockout deck. You know it's like what uh, Katsu used to do, where just hey Kadachi Kadachi come in you know take out all your cards right give me all your cards, and you know then you know that's kind of how you do it. Uh, Hurl is your game winner if they're at one. And very often you get people to one, uh, just pay one, throw a dagger. If it hits, you win the game. If it doesn't hit, you don't, you don't destroy your dagger. You get to keep your dagger. It's just like a, Hey, do, do I win yet? Oh, I don't win. Well, let's say hey, business as, as usual. Uh, we got to leave no win. Well, yeah, all the contract cards are the same. Oasis sink below or main boarded. Uh, Oasis is, is the best defense reaction they got, especially since you're going to be behind most of the game. Right, this is a this is a deck you want to play from behind because we have that much life gain to like built in, so we could come back up. Um, so Oasis is the best. Sink Below's second best. We're running Scar for Scar again. We're going to be less life, and we're also trying to get them down to one, because once we get them down to one, we can turn the tides. Well, our attacks are better than their attacks generally, right? So we just have to get them to give us the tempo. Late game, we want the tempo. And then we just dagger. We send another dagger, right? Block, block. They got two more cards. Send in a four. Send in a four. Send in a four. Send in any of these fours, right? You got a three card hand. Send in a four. All right? And then just keep doing that over and over. Take as many cards as you can until you hit the win con, which is a hur hurl. All right? Or we have been testing this out. Late game Codex of Frailty used to always get a leave no witnesses, right? If it's a leave no witnesses, they're just going to block. If they, if, they have to, if they have to block, they're going to block, right? If they're at one, they have to block with the two cards, right? So if you dagger, dagger, take two cards, right? Codex, leave no witnesses, you'd go net neutral. I mean, you, you'd pass the turn, you'd get a ponder token, you'd be able to arsenal a card, and they'd have to block every single card that they had, but that's the fatigue deck, right? Why fatigue them and then win when you could just win? So we're playing one of Virulent Touch, right? You know, we could Codex. So now we, we have the option, okay? We could Codex of Frailty late, late, late game. Late game. They're at one. They're at two. They're at some, something, right? And we're threatening them. Codex of Frailty. We either grab a Hurl, try to throw a dagger and beat them that way, or we grab the one of Virulent Touch, make them block, and give them a Blood Rot. 
This is how we're going to come back. If we're not, if we don't have them at one and we can't just secure the kill instantly on the hurl, we're going to come in with virulent touch, right? They're going to have to block with two cards and then they're going to get a blood rot. So I've closed out a couple games with it already. Not a couple, I mean one at least. Um, pretty dang good. It works like a charm and it's a four and you know, like that's on rate. It blocks for two, whatever right in order to put this in we took out the imperial warhorn right i put the imperial warhorn in because i played a little bit of dash and i played like even less oldham um and you know it was for the icelander matchup it really helped out but hey you know what we can get them in the lock we can get them in the dagger lock dagger dagger if we can right we might not be able to but we could try to get them to a dagger lock it'd be against icelander we arcane barrier three we got the lantern, we got the boots, and we got the gloves. We're going to keep the mask of pair edition um, so we could banish more cards off the top. Uh, in the ice matchup, in the ice cylinder matchup, we usually can't make use of the go again, even if we hit. So the mask of pair edition is better. Um, so we have three. So it would be one dagger versus ice cylinder, but still we'd be uh, requiring most majority of their cards, right? So they wouldn't be able to actually just kill us. We're main boarding the Oasis Respites. I never actually get to the uh, Imperial Warhorn in this deck. I either get them or they get me, right? So we took that out. Virulent Touch it is. We need another win con, right? Now we have four win cons. Technically more than that with the Codex. Technically the Codex is the win con, but whatever. We have a couple win cons. Um, we left in the two Art of Wars. Art of Wars, phenomenal. Plague Hive, phenomenal. Um, obvious codex eradicate um, captain's call is great um, yeah uh, the rest of these are just standard cards standard cards uh, this rounds on me it's a blue that blocks for three and uh, it's a better frailty um, that's basically it for that we got two down and dirties to shore up the draw my matchup uh, two pieces of mines a um, lot of dominate this gets around it, and it also gives you a ponder token, so you can at least get an arsenal for later. Uh, one unmovable. Uh, you don't want to see two of these. You don't want to see two of these in the same hand. One of is just good enough, and it keeps you on the more aggressive game plan, just running one of. Get them in the lock. That's how you block, by making them, forcing them to block. Uh, two, that all you got. The draw card is really good against the Rune Blades. If you hit it, uh, the Rosetta, the, you know, everything's just good. It's a good, it's a yellow, you know, you could swing it with a knife if it gets stuck in your hand. You got a lot of options. Um, that's kind of the, the, the update. This Virulent Touch is really, really solid, right? Because Hurl, if they're, at, if they're at, you know, two life, Hurl doesn't kill them. And you give up a dagger. And they could keep a card and still kill you. Virulent Touch they're going to have to keep a blue and then they're going to, they could be it too. They're going to have to do something to not die. They could just wake up dead and, and then you win and yeah, you assassinated them. But that, that's basically the line. Um, we could talk, talk matchups. Uh, I could show you this results page abysmal. We're up to 51% going first though. We, we were battling from uh 43% or something. And we just been, we just been, you know, doing really good lately we we kind of got the deck we kind of got the you know like the early matchups like we just we were just testing stuff out still trying to we we're playing stony wooten hog and like all these other weird cards um the renegade card uh james what's that one renegade card oh. For the renegades renegade uh the, the the one one for six if you if you block it with an action card, it gets minus two. What's it called? I know it's called. Free will, free, free, free wheeling, wheeling renegades. Renegades. Yeah, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. We were go. playing free wheeling renegades. I don't even know if it shows it in here anymore. Free wheeling, free wheeling renegades, and you know all this other stuff. It was pretty abysmal. You know, recently I'm at like a seventy something percent win rate uh, in person and online. Uh, it's just doing the thing.
it's doing the thing. My win rate went from like what it was forty two percent, forty something percent, and I think I had forty forty five percent going second. Um, I actually have a win con now, so I'm just winning games. I'm I'm able to win games. It, it's it's this virulent touch. It's this hurl, along with the life gain, along with you know the overstatted cards, along with the plague hive. This plague hive is nasty. Get a plague hive. Get a plague hive. I don't know what you have to do to get a plague hive, but get one before they go up. And your codex of frailty. And codex of frailty, I don't know but if codex. Go up, but I mean, it's it's still it's, it's it's extremely high right now. Yeah. It's it's gonna be. You need the codex of frailty. You need the plague hive. If you want to play Arachne, those are necessary. The art of wars are whatever. It's cool. Cool if you have them. If you don't have them, put yellow uh, captain's calls in. It's the same thing. And yellow captain's calls might even be better because they block for one. Well, I mean, block for two. They, they block for two. So for one, they block. That's a little bit better way to put it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and for right. two, like, you don't need to pay that one cost. That one cost is actually quite a lot. When all your cards are zero cost, when you have to pay one, it's like, uh, I got to keep another card or I have to have a tunic or I have to do all this other. It's just, it's, it makes you more aggressive than you have to be, right? If you're playing yellow captain's calls, you can really slow down. You don't have to make value out of this art of war. When you see the art of war, you have to do it or you have to pitch it or you have to like, that's makes the pieces of mind better because you have a pitch for it and you can't block with it anyways. Might as well block for something. But Yellow's captain's calls get the job done. Yeah, I would I would recommend putting like the captain's calls in if you like want to arsenal the card because I don't recommend arsenaling the art of war. I don't recommend it in this deck. Uh, it, I mean, it, it, it's good. I do it. I fine, I do it. But I, it sits forever. You know, I it does sit for a little while, and you know, you're just waiting to see. You're waiting for the for the hand, and if and, you have a tunic, you could just rip block. it. And it, then it's nasty, but like... Well, yes, but this deck blocks a lot. Yeah. So it just... It, there's times when it's in the arsenal for... What? I've seen it in there it's, for four Yeah, it's, it's been in there for a couple couple turns too many. A couple turns too many. Let's just call it what it was. Uh, it did not feel good. Yeah. That being said, when you do hit, it's nasty. Art of War... Let's say you have a tunic. You have... You have one tunic, you have an Art of War, you have a Leave No Witnesses, and you have a Codex. That's the God Hand. Hey, uh, Art of War, Leave No Witnesses 5, go again. Codex for another Leave No Witnesses for 5. It's like, you're going to give me your cards. I'm going to get all the tempo, and then it's my game after that. Freaking. You know, or you have another, another play line now. You can do the... Uh... Uh, codex of, well you could do the leave no witness and then codex for the virulent touch because that oh, virulent yeah. touch is virulent touch is nasty is nice if they're going to block get the virulent touch if they're going to block and it's it just it's a it's a codex target right you're only playing one of so first time you see it block with it second time you see well first time you see a codex grab that virulent touch instead of the leave no witnesses it depends on if they're going to block or not and you know if they're going to block or not and if they don't block, hey, that's four. That's, that's solid. Sometimes you have to block. So that's, that's kind of that's the update right there. Um, it's no longer really a fatigue deck. You just try to get him with the dagger, get him with another dagger, and then get him with a four. Steal all their cards if they're at one. You know, just get them down to one and then do it. That, hey, that's been the, the update. This is a... It's getting it's getting scarier and scarier. We're gonna have a a, a, a meta deck here soon, and uh, thank you guys.